We're about to go meet the Mr. Joshua Daniel George all the way from Netherlands. Wait, is it Netherlands? That's a country, right? Yeah. No, yeah. Amst is he from Amsterdam? Amsterdam is the Netherlands, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. We're gonna invite you. How's it going, man? Oh, I like tell you guys. What's up, man? Yo, man. Nice to meet you, bro. What's going on, man? What's up? I you yesterday. Yeah. 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 That was Welcome. so tired. Oh, yeah. Do you like you oh, ran right to the airport? You know, the, I, I mean, like, I got there like relatively early. I was there an hour before them. I thought I got loads of time and relaxed. Yeah. And then the queue was like massive and uh, made it to London. You know what? I actually wanted to document, like, have this like sweet little edit of me like, getting me flight and going on the airport and stuff like that. And the queue for like the passport control was so long. And in the end, I had to sprint from passport control to the gate. I was the last person on the plane, and I was so stressed out and like so much adrenaline on the flight that I just didn't vlog anything. But finally made it to London. Here we're Quentin Chad, all the way from Canada. What's up? Got anything to say for the vlog? Oh, anything, guys. Finally happening. We actually met in person. Know, finally in person. This is real. We've got a few other guys in the Airbnb as well. We stayed in the Airbnb and tomorrow we've got like a mastermind meetup where we're just getting together with like as many like content creators, Instagrammers, YouTubers as possible, sharing knowledge, you know, talk about like um like our financial vehicles, what we're doing, you know, how we earn money online, stuff like that. For now, what's the plan for today guys? Just sightseeing in it. Sightseeing the beat. Oh wow, <laughs> where's that? There we go. What's up? How to be some tourists today? Yes, yeah, tourists in London. As you can see, Quentin's trying to become more English. He's got his little book with him, British Seaman. <laughs> Expert secrets, obviously, the Bible. Right, take two. <laughs> Casually walking through London with the boys. <laughs> What's going on? What do you think of London so far? I love it. It's a different, different city. It's more relaxed. Yeah, I like the uh, the buildings here, man. They're all like old fashioned. Yeah, yeah. See yeah. that in uh, Toronto at all? Yeah, I love it. We actually just filmed a, a complete video, like on the grass while we're just sitting down there. Like, there's so many people I see on Instagram now that I've started an agency, or that they've done drop shipping in the past, or they've done personal brand in the past and they can't you know what i mean like they do it for a few months they give up because it's not what they expected it to be yeah, yeah. or they actually realize that they need to put in the work and then they give up and they try something else they try the next shiny object you're gonna upload it on your channel aren't you yeah like probably all can probably take a copy of it yeah it's really good yeah i'll upload on this channel as well so it'll probably come like somewhere this week uh, we're actually gonna head over to the place the large the large, the large cafe to, to see uh, yeah. like where the meetup's going to take place tomorrow. Goals right there. One day. We're back at the Airbnb again. Just spent the entire day like sightseeing, messing about, catching up. Uh, we actually also went to a few little cafes in London just to see if we can host the event or just like reserve a part of the cafe to see if we can get 15 people together. And we actually struggled with it quite a bit. So what we're going to do now is just host a meetup in Rose, Rose Garden. Garden. Hyde Park. Yeah. Yeah. Like feel the grass. You know, we're just going to meet up with uh, with them there. If, if anyone wants to come with us for that coffee later on, then we can do that. But we haven't planned out like a, like a coffee meetup. Uh, what we're going to do now is just go for some sushi and then I'll probably just continue the vlog tomorrow. Hi right, guys, so there goes our Uber. And it turns out that our Uber driver was actually like a digital marketer as well. 
like she does click funnels, she knows Russell Brunson. She hasn't read Expert Secrets yet, but like she's in that whole digital marketing sphere and it was so like we just got talking and she said oh like oh I do that as well and we were like what really? She does yeah like I do SEO. She's got her own like plugin that gets uh, websites on the first page of Google without using AdWords. It was amazing. That was just like everyone's like vlogging about it now. Like, say, say like what we just experienced. It was incredible. Anyway, we're at High Park now. Gonna have like the meetup. It's not actually a meetup. It's just like a get together with people that we know from social media and just network basically. Good yeah, man. Good. Hey, nice to meet you, bro. What's up? Yeah. What's up, bro? How are you doing? I'm good, man. I work with my mate who was doing it. It was working, and then from there, I made a little bit of money because I was, I, he was paying me every time I'd get a sale for somebody, and I was all through Instagram just DMing people. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. When did you start learning about it? Um. Like, like when was Iman's? Like, like I'd say on Friday, that's when I learned. Oh, you took action so, like, right away? Learned on Friday, because like when I saw the ad, I was like, this is interesting. Just started watching all the YouTube videos. Hello, everyone. Just got Everyone, how Your van. Nice to meet you. Yeah, sure. Right, mate, Sean. Are you guys from America as well? No, no I'm from America. Oh, yeah. Josh, nice to meet you. Yeah, man. Yeah, Ryan. I've seen you on YouTube. What's up, man? Yeah, man. Hey, man. Hey, this partner tries to uh, car, car, car. Like, car dealer? Uh, yeah, just uh, just like a used one. Like, yeah. They sell like 40,000 pound cars. Man. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. What do you like? Do you doing their management or are you doing their ads for them? or? Ads and management and content as well. Stuff you need to know going into a big business, but learning it, practice. Figure it out as you go. You figure it out yeah, so yeah, much yeah. better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's bad. It's bad thinking that it costs 30k. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, a it's a joke. It's a joke. It's an actual joke. But then people won't spend like even like five hundred dollars yeah. one time, but they'll be like, oh, I'll give you thirty grand, and yeah, I'm stuck yeah, with yeah, you yeah. for three yeah. years. That's mad. Yeah, that's it's madness. madness. You're man. He's a guy who raises money using his personal brand to help really impoverished people that really need it. That's like Timothy, uh, is this Sykes or Sky? Are you spending your money on money on? I just want my dad keeps complaining about his job, man. He's been doing it for like 10 years. He just keeps complaining. He's like, man, I hate this shit. I hate this shit. He doesn't do anything to like try and get out of it. Though. I can tell. All he does is complain about it. So I just want to. Want to get him to quit his job? It's a damn job. Just to, yeah, get, I'm gonna replace his salary <laughs> for like at least like ten years, so he can just quit it and like try something on his own. Um, and yeah, other than that, I'd rather have money than not have it. So yeah. What about you? Huh? What's like nightmare. your moment? Like, like I'm not not even specific like social media marketing, but just like your moment when you're like, fuck the normal. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. So. I was obviously grinding out to get the first because I wanted to get into CSR, do corporate social responsibility in a big firm. And I got like some links with like Nike and some big businesses I knew I could go into. And uh, I just when I when I fell on the social media thing, I just thought, hang on a minute. Like we've grown up with this stuff. The big companies they're going to have to be paying the young guys to do all this stuff. And every bloody every business in the world needs it and in 20 years time 20 30 years time when all the business owners have grown up with it then the, there'll be less so of a market yeah. but there's a yeah. right now it's the biggest the big best thing, thing to yeah. be yeah. in it's the best yeah. thing to learn and just and yeah try and dominate a niche like i started like a small so i started teaching piano like five years ago i got like within like two months i had enough clients where i was like okay like, i can work for myself cut that off start like another business How old are you? uh like 17. okay yeah so like a year later, I got into like the music production. I decided I got a parking ticket in downtown Toronto. I was broke. I had to pay the ticket. I got my car towed. It was like four hundred dollars. Paid all that, bro. I had nothing in my account, like zero. And I was like, all right, fuck this. I don't want to feel broke ever again. So I started like doing the music production and doing it for other people. Within like thirty days, man, I had enough clients for that that I could like. I was making like, two, three grand, grand a month. Thirty days into this, so I was like, okay, That's this bad. works. And then. Yeah. Final time, bro. Like, I went to school for, I went to university for a year. Um, just a waste of waste of time, bro. Sitting in lectures and all this shit. Um, I dropped I out, man. Yeah, bro. It's such a waste of time, bro. Such a waste of time. So I dropped out on a flight to Thailand. I'm like, I want to learn drop shipping. That's before like all the SMA stuff. Um, spent two months there trying to find like a mentor, man, someone that can like show me how to do this. Cause like you see the gurus, bro. They make like 10k a day. But like, okay, I need someone to show me this. And so like. My sixth week into it, bro, I meet a guy in a coffee shop. I see Shopify on his laptop screen. Yeah. I spark up a condo with him, bro. Seven days later, bro, like, my e-commerce store just fucking, like, took off. Like, 
took off, bro, and I never thought about school after that ever again. Yeah, just because of met, meeting the right guy, man, and like just proving like that it works. If we're 16, like we can make like we're all young, like no one's no one's old here. Yeah, no he's like, pretty old though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like oh, we've got like all the time to make money and lose the money. If we lose all our money, yeah, like, we've, matter, we've got man. the rest. Hey, of, we've got the rest of our life to make it back. And make a hundred million. Yeah. yeah. So exactly, you can yeah. help everyone. So face, like, yeah, face like, you give to friends and family. Then you get, so you just you, you just get that like spending out of your system. You know, you, you you buy yourself a gift or whatever, or a few gifts. Rolex and then year. you put what, all the money like mm -hmm. from then you start putting money in, oh. laying the foundation to start making like mega books. Yeah. The more you get, the more you get. <laughs> yeah, I like. Oh, I believe that. Oh, show that. Yeah. Like, guys, so the meetup is sort of finished. We're just walking around London now. I mean, I guess because you say life lesson. <laughs> Watch where you walk in London because there's horse shit on the ground. I still didn't know shit, guys. But apparently, that like, does it bring luck or something like that, or is that just me hoping to? No, I'm pretty to... sure that's when a bird comes on you, buddy. But hey, you oh, might... that might be right, yeah. yeah. You might be able to keep this somewhere. Yeah. It could, true. Do you, could do you good, could do you bad. Important life lesson. What you think, like the meetup? Oh, it's sick. Like, to me, this is so cool that there's people like worldwide, like, from Toronto, probably, like people like we're all like together for like the same reason, to, and it's like international, worldwide, baby. <laughs> exactly, like it's amazing to whoa, connect whoa, whoa, whoa. with yo, all yo, these yo. people. Yo, yo, like, and we've just all met up through Instagram, which is like Instagram. insane, like social of all, media of all places. Yeah, the power of social yeah. media. And that those with the boys, guys. I'm losing my virginity tonight. What kind of virginity? My Nando's virginity. <laughs> and hopefully the other one too. <laughs> Back at the Airbnb again after a very long but successful day. Just chilling here with the boys. Uh, we went to... Where did we actually go? We just like strolled around. Ended up in the gay area and then had to like walk back out again. And uh, We had something to drink. Nando's just chilled. And then we thought, you know what, let's just head back home. Got anything to add to this? Live life do what you love, man. Yeah. Um, but honestly, like, this, it's fucking, it's actually fucking crazy, this situation right yeah, now. Yeah, it is. But yeah. it's like, fucking good. It's been such a random trip, random weekend, but, like, you'd never ever get, like, these people together without, like, the power of social media. I think we've said, like, quite a few times, like, on and off the camera today, like, yeah. social media has made, like, all this possible, and the fact that we've connected like this, it's, it's so weird, but, like... So cool. And you, you immediately hit it off as well because we're also like going the same way, so you, all, you yeah relate to each other. You yeah, that's it. Like, side, yeah. and even like like we have conversations about like like people that we all know from the same industry, the yeah. same niche, and all that. Like, you can't actually have these conversations with people that are outside the like the little bubble that we're in. And yeah, like just gratefulness for the opportunities that we get. Quentin was supposed to have like this big like uh, big inspirational positivity movements conclusion but he's out no nah, fuck your shit don't be a bitch and pick up the phone do what you want spread positivity that's all the five things i ever the ever signature the signature thing. <laughs> yeah no nah, but i i burned out today and it's yeah it's been a time like three hours of sleep yeah guys i'll probably wrap up this video here like this video we got some out of it shout out to the common winner like share comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one